Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft LAN Party. I built a new building. You can probably tell what's up in there. Um, but let me show you a little update here. Never mind those torches. We'll get to that in a minute. Hello, guys. I have uh, a couple husks in there. And I pulled out one of the villagers and brought him over here and started to build the villager containment units. Yeah, they're not like jail cells at all. Hi. I unlocked all his, all his trades. He's a master librarian. He's got a fortune three. A curse of binding. Okay. Um, of course, sells paper. Or buys paper. Sells lanterns. Buys it. ink sacks. Which is convenient because the ocean around here is filled with squid. So that's cool. So I have some of these things here. I've done some trading with him to get him unlocked in that fashion. But I need supplies. Oh, I started filling in uh, this terrain here because these big gaps are kind of annoying. So I started borrowing from some places and putting to others. And I built this. This was a bit overkill for what I needed, but I wanted to. Sorry about that. Want a sugar cane farm a little more locally and a little bit bigger than what I have elsewhere. I was going to build like a little, I was going to do some animated stuff. Um, but I figured I would just build another one of these large mushroom buildings and set it up the way I have the wheat farm over by the mushroom. Oh no, over by the mushrooms. And i just manually harvest. And it grows pretty quickly. There's enough plants in here. You know, it's really over a chunk's worth of sugarcane plants. And it grows quickly enough that uh, as I'm here, if I'm just standing around here picking up or punching, punching sugarcane um, and picking up the, the bits that fall by the time I get it all picked up and, and, uh, and ready to go again. Um, well, it's going to make a liar out of me this time, but, uh, pretty much as soon as it's, as soon as I get done chopping down more, one of these will pop up just one and I can go punch that and continue. So look at this. One, two, three, four, five stacks of sugar cane all at once. Okay, not bad. So, okay, it's still it's still not gonna like validate my assertion there, but it's okay. Uh, I did set up a bed over here. I made it green. Oh, there's more sugar cane. Uh, I made it green, which was probably a mistake because when I come up, it's hard to see. So I may have to switch it to a different color just to. Uh, um, yeah, just to make it so when I come up here and I'm, and the sugar cane's all grown, or even it's not all grown, it's a little bit easier to see. Okay, so yeah, five sacks of sugar cane, not bad. And then I've got storage down here that I've just started to fill up, but and most of that came when I was just starting to build it. Okay, next step. Um, I have, as I said, I've got a couple of, uh, I've got a couple beasties trapped here. I'm going to hang on to one of them. They are separated in their, in their own little containment units there. And I want to build something here. I have some pink dye in my pocket and I have some glass over here. And so I want to build yeah, some glass over here. I have way more pink dye than I need to make a stack of pink glass. So let's put this away. Yeah, bring that back over at some point. 
I have some more mycelium here that I've harvested from around and about. I don't have a lot of dirt left. Um, I have surprisingly little dirt. It's a little bit shocking. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to build up a little thing here. Um, a little structure. I'm going to make it out of glass because I found out the hard way. If, oops, if I don't, it becomes a little bit of a problem. Um, and so, is this right? Probably not. Let's build it up a little bit higher. So my plan is to take one guy out of here, bring him up into here, and then I have some trap doors that I made with that warp wood. Warped trap door. What I want to do is I'm going to have two sets of rails. I'm going to have a set along here. Uh, I need to cover this so that guys don't burn. So I think I have some, I have some slabs, but I can make some more. Um, yeah. Now uh, those slabs might be enough. So if I put up a torch here, I can lay down a slab. Long here. Plop. Take out the torch and then just put more slabs. Keep them protected, you know? I don't want slabs there. Uh. Oh, here's a question for you. Can I run redstone along... Uh, along shroom light blocks. Let's find out. Let's do an experiment. Oh man. Are these axable? I have an axe here. Somewhere. Let's try this. Yes, they are axable. Good. Um, so if I put shroom lights up there, will the shroom lights block? Yeah, screw it. I don't have to worry about light too much. So I'm going to get some of these warped I want to use planks, and I want to use let's use uh, let's use this stripped high face stuff. So how do I so I make more of the planks? This and go like like that, and take my axe and strip these. Oh, nice. Kind of a weird color combination, but I think it'll be fine. And then I will need to put, um, once again, him relocated up here. Sorry about this. Uh, my glucose monitor thinks I'm dying right now. It is very much wrong. I'm not quite sure what to do about that. So let me... You know, the phone and do not disturb. It still feels like it has the right to annoy me. So let's do that. Okay. When it's getting dark, I have a bed over here somewhere. I have a bed up there. I have a bed in there. Okay. See, they're already popping up. I have a feeling that once you once you punch, once you break sugarcane, it sets a timer. Like there's a little, uh, 
sets a timer before how long it will before that particular plant will grow again. So I'll just let this go. It'll be good. And let's go try this. Okay, so I'm gonna get some rails. Let's go put them down. I think those will work. And what I want to be able to do is drop this guy off in the middle of this. Yeah, something like that will work. And then I want to put these are these trap doors. No, that's not what I wanted. I want to put the trap doors right here. Oh, how did I get those? I want them to point down off of this. I put them like this. Yeah, like this. <clears throat> And then I want to be able to put, no, not like that. Can I put this here like this? That's what I want. Oops, nope. Okay, so I got those, and then here I want these to be up here like that. Yes, that's what I want. And I need another trap door. Okay, so um, I need another. Okay, all right, just one more of these, like that, and then I can make a couple more of those. All right, so now, there we go. Now the goal is that I can grab a lever and some redstone. Theory, if I do this And run a, run, a, run a line of redstone along the top, which I have some redstone. Just not super convenient. Redstone down here. That would have been a good place for it. Okay, I have a whole box of redstone stuff here. Um, and these levers I put up here. Put this here. I have redstone. That should be plenty. Um, I will have to pick up right, so if I run a lot of redstone along here and what I can do is I can open and close this Go, bloop, close and then I can run a, a, a line of uh, rail along here and bring up villagers along here I want to create three spots along here. Why did I make this that long? I made this too long. Okay. Piece of redstone. Okay, so I want to have three spots along here. That are spaced out appropriately. Where I can park my villagers. And I'm gonna light them up just because I can. And then I'm gonna run rail along here and put powered rails on there so I can 
work the villagers over here when I want to. Put them in front of this, and then I'll take one of those guys, put them in here. And um, then I can have the villagers sitting here get infected by the zombie. And then I can throw a splash potion of weakness at the, at the villager zombies, zombie villagers. And the... Um, and then uh, give them golden apples. And when I do that, then... Not that it matters much. Uh, and then I can cure them. And then if I want to, I can open the doors again, let the zombie reinfect the villagers and cure them again. And I can do three at once. So that I cut down on the, the use of the splash potions of weakness. But that's not going to be as expensive as the... Uh, <laughs> it's not going to be as expensive as the golden apples. So I do need to figure out a better source for gold. Which probably means building a gold farm at some point, relatively soon. Dump off this stuff because I don't need it anymore, not for the time being. Oh, I will need some glass. So, what I will want to do now, is I'm gonna take Hello, how are you? Don't worry, we'll get you out of there in a moment. Uh, he's still in a minecart, sitting down, and I just need to get him up into here, lock him in, and break the minecart, and then I'll sacrifice the minecart if I need to. And let's see here. I need to bring this along here. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Can I do this? And replace some of these with powered rails. That should be enough of a boost and replace this one with the powered rail, I think. Uh, I need to get some of those levers again. Those turned on. Can I do it from down here? Yes. And I'm grabbing my cart. And let me just test it on myself. And see what happens. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right, I don't know how well this is going to work. Let's, let's try that again. After eating. So 
if I get him up there, and I nudge him. Replace these blocks and then break the minecart. It'll be trapped. Let's try it. I have two of them. I'm a little concerned, but I have I have two of them. So if we need two, I can get more. Hi. How are you? I understand you are upset. Get. You're sitting on a rail, probably not a powered rail, unfortunately. Um, okay, this is going to hurt. There we go. Hi, dude. Guess what? Welcome to your new home. I have pink glass here. And... Yeah, okay. So let's go climb up on top. Turn on hitboxes. And then... Break that minecart. The axe seemed to work really well for breaking the minecart. Okay. You appear to be stuck. Huh. Oh, shoot. Do I have a boat? Can I get him in a minecart? Oh, eat, please. Trap doors. So I have trap doors on hand. I have trap doors. Okay. That didn't work. Ah, let's, uh, let's get some blocks on the bar. Whew. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. No. Okay, he's stuck, but not really. Okay, so, oh, dude. All right, this isn't exactly the roof I wanted on here, but. Okay, so now, pink glass. Wasn't exactly the uh, form factor I had in mind, but let's. Uh, Let me 
him down on the ground. What happens if I open this door that he's standing on? What is he standing on? Okay. Okay, so if I try to avoid aggroing him, maybe that will... All right, this is a fascinating thing. I need to block him in from there. Okay. So let's... Uh... Okay. Okay, so if we, how do we get him down from there and over here? Hey dude. Come and get me over here. here. Okay. I think that will do it. I think that does it. Ooh. Okay, so the glass is here so that I can be out here and he will not see me and he will not aggro on me. Um, and then if I bring him up some, uh, some friends, you can get them. I think that's the idea. Worked in creative. And if I go up here, he, wait, let me eat first. If I go up here, he can come get me, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay, so. And I'll close this. Then from here, he calms down. Okay. I did not go as smoothly as I planned, but it should give us what we need. There we go. Put the lever down here. Put the lever right here. Okay, this is all kind of ugly, but should work. And then I can place regular rails along here. And power rails here. And the, the unpowered power rails will effectively uh, break their motion. Is it nighttime or is it just storming? I don't know. Let's get rid of this rain. It's kind of annoying. So this uh, villager zombification curing station, this came from, I saw this on a YouTube video, iCraft MC, I believe. Oh, I guess it's not dark. Um, <clears throat> and... I will link to that video in the description because I 
think it's a smart design. Um, built it before in creative, so that's why it... Um, didn't go as smoothly as it might have, but that's fine. Okay, let's go over here. Say hi to our friend. And... Oops. Oh. He's in a minecart, so I don't need to worry about him getting away. Um, but can I slip a rail underneath him there? No, I don't need to. I just push him along here. You'll go along. I have the I have the the window closed, right? Yes. So he'll come up here and he'll just stop. Oh, interesting. He stopped not here. Okay. So let me go get resources. I believe I have them down here. Yeah, not the best use of resources, but let's try. So if I come up here and I throw this switch. The zombie will go technically kill him. He's now a zombie villager. Throw the switch. Hi. Uh, and then I can throw at him a potion of weakness, and then give him a golden apple. And then wait like five minutes. Ah, uh, and then he will turn back into a regular villager. This zombie can no longer get at him. Ah, you're going to be so much happier. And this, the point of doing this is, of course, that all his trades will improve. Now, if I had a bunch more gold apples, I could do him, like, five times. Maybe... Wait, can I... All right, I have one more golden apple here. I can go get more golden apples. I can make more golden apples. They're kind of expensive, but I can do it. Um, oh, you know what? <laughs> no. I've got all the golden apples I need. Because I made a bunch for some reason. That's fine. Uh, oh, you know what would be good? I have some leather here, right? Yeah, I have some leather. And I have some... Or I can make some sticks. So if I put these up here, grab these, and make some sticks, there we go. We can then make a item frame. And this is also something that was done in the tutorial that I saw. It wasn't really a tutorial exactly, but um, this little arrow as a pointer, right? So we can say, okay, that's zero when they're brand new. And now I've put the cure on them once, so it goes right there. And then three, four, five, when it's pointed down, um, that'll be the maximum number of cures, and then he's done. Okay, so this is gonna be a little boring. I can speed up through this, and I have some uh, build footage of this and I have some footage of getting these guys over here. So let me show you that and we'll cure this guy up a few times and see if we can get a really attractive paper trade and turn him into our grindy uh, librarian. Getting all the emeralds we can ever want. Trap doors, here's the high thing. Oh, oh, look at that. 
Goal G reached the zombie doctor. Hello, buddy. How are you feeling? A little better? See, he was 21 paper for an emerald. Now he's down to 18. Huh? Whoa! One emerald for a fortune... Huh? For a fortune three block. One ink sack for an emerald. Huh. Okay, but the point is, we can do this again. Hi. How are you? Oh, can get another potion. And give you another golden apple. Some spare stone bricks. Entirely remember. Oh, hello. How are you feeling? Huh. Look, 21 to 18 to 12. Huh? Um, 12. Okay. Huh. Huh. Oh, hello. How are you feeling? Huh? See, down to six. Yeah. Huh? Now some of these oh, down to two for a name tag. Uh, huh? Some of these I think are temporary, and some are permanent. And unfortunately, the curing ones only apply to me. Oh, hello! You're done. See how much faster that goes when you actually give him the golden apple? Huh? Everything's down to one. Huh? Is that permanent? Let's find out. I have some paper. We can always move him back over. Wait, is this all gonna is this gonna get him back to where I need him to go? I think so. Yes. Let's put him back in his carol, give him back his uh lectern, his workstation. Make him feel at home and comfortable. And then, test. Uh. Okay, so. Let's get uh. pickaxe here. Push him all the way in. Give him his luck turn uh. back. Uh. Huh. And I have paper here. Um, so that could be enough. Just, I got 16 more emeralds out of him. Once, we, okay. Well, I've got more paper. I can make more paper. Let's go do that. Hi. And then he will, in the morning, he should refresh his trades. Let's just refresh. Yes, he did. So he'll do a trade up to 16 at a time. So I want multiples. Oh, no. So I will want multiples. Cured up like this, and then I could just go trade paper, 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 paper. And all the stacks and stacks and stacks of emeralds. Okay, I think we're going to end that there. I've been doing this for longer than I planned. 
Um, I'll do it for now. I will come back later and continue working on... I'll cure up those guys. That'll improve my paper trade situation, give me far more emeralds. And, yeah, that's good. So, anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I'll see you next time. All right? Bye.